Uh, we're going to start this off proper with a very, very exciting little tidbit here. So, earlier this year, we had a little little tales of a, a special pop boy named Ed Sheeran, which again, if you like it or not, that's that that's a that's cool to you. We had cool things like him working with Bring Me the Horizon and actually putting on a really cool set and sh like that. But there was also another thing they were talking about about how Ed Sheeran's big into black metal and grew up with like Cradle and Filth and stuff like that, and that apparently Cradle and Filth and Ed Sheeran might be doing something spicy. Well, five days ago, we have this new post right here. Oh yeah, very investigatory work right here, Nick. I went on Instagram like an adult. Of Ed Sheeran with Danny Filth hanging out, shooting the sh I mean, I don't know who the guy in the middle is, but he looks ready to throw down. And like, I want to take a second to talk about this sh A little week over a week ago, I was having lunch with the unlikely lads having just done something fun. I'm going to repeat myself. The lads... Having just done something fun, if I had to place my bet, it is not going to be that they're going to be starting a stream on Twitch and doing a hot tub stream. My bet, the British boys, bruv, just raw off and banger. One of two things could happen here. With one, I think, first of all, we have to conclude. There is some kind of piece of music that will be released. Okay, now, is it an Ed Sheeran song? Featuring Danny Filth? Or is it a Cradle of Filth song featuring Ed Sheeran? Let's explore both possibilities and what this means. I would say this happening, is this not the biggest crossover ever? This guy is is the number three with 82 million monthly listeners. Most popular musician in the entire world. This, is, this isn't our nice little niche, special safe haven metal world where breakdowns help us go to sleep and vocalists get canceled every three seconds. This is the outside world, the scary world, the real scary world where pop and, and people actually make money exist. So this is the third most popular musician in the world working with Cradle of Filth, which is, and again, the terminology and titling may differ. Uh, based on elitism and fun. But I would say Cradle of Filth is probably one of the most prominently popular bands that are in the black metal category, whether it's their more melodic black metal or their blackened metal, whatever the fuck you want to call it. They are an extreme metal band that goes, yeah, do, yeah, <laughs> this is the biggest collaboration ever between the biggest pop, the third biggest pop star in the world, and a fucking person who basically put black metal on the map of more mainstream culture. This is our Ninja and Drake moment. The moment that brought, you know, all the, all the gamers, you know, people, it was cool to game because everyone went to go watch Drake and stream with Ninja and play Fortnite, right? This is our Drake and Ninja moment. Except it's less cringe and it's actually cool. I don't like when you put it that way. Again, there's two possibilities here. It could be a cheering on a Cradle Phil song. That might be a little weird because I still feel like no matter how cool that is, let's be real. Metalheads are, are, have very refined taste, right? Which is respectable. But they are way more picky. They are mad fucking picky. Which is cool. And that pickiness also allows for good things which makes more music that's more unique and more pristine with hopefully higher quality and less shit. but it also makes it harder for just people to have make fun shit, cool shit, and you know without everyone worrying all the time about the little things that not don't really matter right if it good it good so i think ed sheeran's gonna write a pop song like what he does and then danny filth's gonna do black metal screams on it i mean yeah ed sheeran already did the thing with bring me which was great. It was a big step in the right direction. That was a huge dub for the metal scene. Again, like taking those little things, which I know I put a lot of emphasis on chat, and I know you might be watching streams sometimes, and you're like, Nick, you're making a big deal out of nothing. But these things that the metal scene doesn't really care about sometimes impact the metal scene in a great way, which they usually just ignore. 
the metal scene just all of a sudden every year is like, whoa, why? There's just more people listening to metal. Wow. I feel like a lot of people take that for granted. They don't know why that's happened. They just think, oh, I, uh, grindcore got got better. It's no. <laughs> it's, people listen, get get into more metal because they get through the gateway bands and some of them less gateway bands, but I guess new age gateway bands, even like Lorna, through TikTok and through all these mainstream ways, which then get them into metal. Or maybe there's parents that are listening to deathcore and metalcore and death metal that their kids are growing up listening to this stuff. And, and stuff like this, when these collaborations happen, they're huge. They get a whole new influx. Yeah, like Guitar Hero. I Again, I, I was young when Guitar Hero came out, but I wouldn't be surprised if when Guitar Hero came out, if the metal scene was just like, no, this is poser shit. I'm not going to play that fake guitar shit. Go get a real guitar. You know what I mean? I, I'm not, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the mentality during that. I don't know. I was too young to know. But all I know is Guitar Hero... Brought a, literally made brought a whole generation of people that to love guitar and for metalheads. So all these mainstream avenues, which I'm not saying everything they bring is great. Sometimes it brings things which aren't the funnest. Sometimes you get you know you get the annoying people here and there and people that take things for granted, which us as metalheads have you know pride in, right? Specific bands going to concerts, knowing more than three fucking songs from the band, having merch, right? These things are special to a lot of people. And then sometimes when an influx of people come in and just take advantage and just, you know, get what they want from that and they don't utilize and give back all the things that metalheads would usually do to that scene, sometimes metalheads get a little annoyed, very annoyed, you know, and they have a lot of pride in what they do. Also, with that mentality, if that's all that people care about and there's all that gatekeeping and elitism, there's not going to be any metalheads left to f***ing go to shows with and to be posers with. <laughs> so... I think stuff like this, I'm always a big supporter of things like this, being a fake poser core kid myself. I think this is sick. I genuinely think there's going to be an Ed Sheeran song that comes out featuring Danny from Cradle of Filth. And Danny ain't going to be doing no motherfucking cleans on that shit. He's going to be roaring. Now, will the song be a little rockier? Will the song instrumentally even be more black metal? That I genuinely don't know. Because I don't think it would be a Cradle of Filth song. They won't say this is Cradle of Filth featuring Ed Sheeran because the black metal scene and Cradle of Filth fans just won't accept it. However, if it feels more like, a, oh, Danny's going over there to do stuff, Cradle of Filth fans won't care as much. They're going to be like, oh, he's just doing a side thing. But as soon as Ed Sheeran comes invading the Cradle of Filth fans, they're not going to be happy. So that's, that's what I think is happening. I think this is a big dub. I think not only do I want this to happen, I think this sh needs to happen. Even if you don't like Ed Sheeran, even if you hate pop music, is this not something cool that opens up more opportunities for just weird, fun sh Like, are you guys about that? Or are you like, f*** it. I hate this. I hope it dies. I hope nothing exists. I don't want no no f***ing pop artist to touch my, my crazy cavalt black metal. That might be a mentality too. Ed Sheeran doesn't seem like the dude who like half asses it. Like, if he's going to do this and they're going to, like, do, like, a black metal theme, he's going to do it all the way. And I respect that. He's not going to, like, all every second, like, second guess, like, uh, maybe that's not right for the image. He doesn't seem like a dude that gives a fuck about that. He just wants to make cool shit. He's already the most fucking famous musician in the world. He has big amounts of money. So it's like, what? who cares? Yeah. I think this is cool. I, I can't believe having just done something fun like this shit is going to happen. I'm all here for it. I want to see what they do. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Just please, God, if you release a song with Danny and it's black metal, please don't block the reaction. That's all I'm asking of you. Just don't block the reaction. Please. <laughs>